Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Doing Things with E-Dub. Today we're gonna to do a real simple, easy wrap. Buffalo chicken wrap. Simple ingredients, fan favorite. Uh, if you like this channel, please like and subscribe. Drop a comment, let me know how you feel. Today, I'm pretty much just gonna do it real nice and easy. Not too many ingredients. Chicken, lettuce, cheese, some buffalo sauce, and some homemade ranch. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so first thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and start out with a tomato. You don't have to put tomatoes in there. I actually like to have tomatoes in there, so that's what I'm gonna do. Right there and in there, that first slice, that cap and crown is really what you're looking at. So you might wanna go just a little bit deeper to get it. There you go, that's a perfect slice right there. And then with a tomato of this size, you can slice it down and go ahead and dice it. But because it's just for me, I'll probably just go ahead and do two slices and then I'll go ahead and dice them down. That's all I'm gonna use for this one little wrap here. So you can go ahead and put that to the side. You don't really need that. And you can double up your slices and you can either go in lines and slice them or you can slice them in half and cross them. It really doesn't matter how you do it as long as you get it. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and slice them down and I'm gonna turn them and I'll slice them one more time. You can do it just like that, real nice and easy. Unless you have an actual tomato dicer that you like to use. I mean, I feel like that's cheating, that's not really cooking, but you know, a lot of people wanna get it out the way and do it real easy. But, you know, if you feel like it's not diced enough, you can always go back and give it some additional, you know, dices with the knife. I like my tomatoes kind of chunky, so I, I don't mind it. And that's pretty much how you're gonna have that done. And you're all ready to go. So we have some homemade ranch here. Real easy ingredients. You can pick them up at the store and make your ranch. I'll do a video on how to make homemade ranch. Same thing with the buffalo sauce. This is not homemade buffalo sauce, but I will make a video on how to make homemade buffalo sauce using certain ingredients. We got a flour tortilla here and all I did with this is I just threw it on you know the burner for a good 30 seconds just to soften it up so when I go ahead and roll it it's nice and flexible uh, just be cautious if you leave it on there too long or you pop it in the microwave too long it will start to get hard and crispy on you and that will mess up your form when you're going to make your wrap shredded lettuce you can shred your own lettuce if you want to. If not, you can get store-bought shredded lettuce. That's what this is. And then I like to go with cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese that you like. Cheddar cheese I find goes really well with buffalo sauce and ranch, so I went with cheddar cheese. And then I just have some regular chicken tenders here. You can fry your own chicken tenders if you want to do tenderloins and go ahead and fry them off use batter. Uh, I'll also do a video on how to do homemade chicken tenders as well. These are not, these are just your regular generic store-bought chicken tenders. So that's what we're using for today. And let's go ahead and start doing it. Let's put it together. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take our chicken strips and cut them down. You don't really need to cut them down too small, just almost a quarter of an inch each piece and probably get away with using one and a half chicken tenders for a wrap of this size. This is a 10 inch tortilla or maybe it's, no, it's a 12 inch tortilla. I said that wrong, 12 inch tortilla. So you can go ahead and throw that on there. Place your chicken about middle of it, midway, almost, almost to the edge. And you can go ahead and drizzle your buffalo sauce on there. 
Now, depending on how much buffalo sauce you like, you can put a lot on there, you can put a little bit on there, it's really up to you. Then you can go ahead and go with just a little bit of ranch. Drizzle that on there, nice and easy. You don't wanna overdo it, cause then you'll have a pretty good mess on your hands. So nice little mixture there. And then you wanna go ahead and come with your lettuce and just kinda go right over top of it, like so. Same thing with your cheese, probably about a pinch of cheese. You really don't wanna overdo it on cheese as well. Some people like a lot of cheese. Maybe add just a tad bit more on there for those who like a lot of cheese. And then your same thing with your tomatoes, just a pinch of tomatoes. And keep everything nice and neat and seated in there. Cause what you wanna do is when you go ahead and roll it, you're looking for just that whole bite of tomatoes, cheese, lettuce, chicken, sauce, and ranch. And, and your first bite and almost every bite that you do. So now you have everything on there. You can go back over with just a little bit more ranch and just kind of get it on everything. Nice and easy. Obviously, if you have a squirt bottle, this is a whole lot easier with a squirt bottle, but we're not actually at a restaurant right now. So we're just doing it as if you're in your kitchen, just cooking. Same thing with buffalo sauce. Just a nice drizzle over top of everything. Real nice and easy. There you go. Now, your wrapping technique, this is where you kind of have to pay attention. So you're gonna take your two fingers, you're gonna go underneath your wrap, you're gonna pinch inward like so. Now you're gonna switch to your thumbs, bring your thumbs underneath, and you're gonna tuck and roll. So you're gonna bring it towards you, tuck and roll. Bring it towards you, tuck and roll. Bring it towards you, tuck and roll. And you have the perfect wrap. Almost looks like a burrito. Grab yourself a serrated knife and you're gonna cut it on the bias. About 90 degrees. And you just kinda, once you get that, that knife in there, about 70, 75, percent into the sandwich, you can go ahead and split your fingers so that you can hold the wrap so it doesn't get away from you. So as you're cutting, you're holding that wrap in place. Real nice and easy. And you just keep on cutting all the way through. And there you go. So now you wanna go ahead and lift it up, pull it apart. You can see just good texture in there. Chicken, tomatoes, lettuce, you know, cheese, everything's in there. So there you have it. Real simple and easy buffalo chicken wrap. You know, a fan favorite again. You have people coming over, you're doing like a little dinner party or something, you don't know what to make. This is something real simple and easy. You're having a few drinks, guys just kind of kicking back. Here you go, an easy wrap to do. Another one you can do is also a chicken Caesar wrap with grilled chicken. I'll do a video on that one as well. Uh, let me know, drop a comment. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know if you wanna try it. You know, I'll put the ingredients in the description box below. And as always, please like and subscribe and keep doing things with you, though. I'll catch you guys next time.